Were there ever nights that you think this wasn't going to happen? Yeah, all the time. All the time. I, I feel like uh, a lot of like a lot of people don't see no's that everybody gets. Like, mm -hmm. like they just see the success and, right. uh, and they don't think that it takes uh, hard work Because they dedication. think you just got discovered, you went to this place, and yeah. then boom, it blew up. Yeah, like it would sound like that if it was written in a in, you know fairy tale story. Right. But not a, lot, a lot of hard work, a lot of late nights, sleepless nights, stressful nights, crying in the studio, right. not thinking I'm good enough, like as a, as a younger artist. But yeah, a lot of that. But I, I think like... I could. I didn't let that doubt overshadow the, the the dream. I feel like my heart was 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 in it. So I was I was I was ready for anything. Right. Just even to this day, like my my heart and my passion is in what I do. It's still that. Yeah. So I so I feel like that's what I guess keeps me consistent or keeps people interested or or, or you know engaged in my music. Right. Did he turn you down? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so how, how did that meeting go? So so what? So how did the meeting go? And then what did Diddy say? Why did he turn you down? And this was this was probably maybe two or three years prior. Okay. So I was like eleven or twelve okay. at this time. Um, the same kid that I said that that showed me the ropes yeah, uh, no. in New York. Yeah. He he. Me and him had songs. It was like a group. Mm -hmm. So me and him had different like uh, songs that we would do together, and I would do solo songs. So we both got to audition. He's like, all right, cool. Let, let's go. Let's go and meet him, and let's go sing. So we, we went in it. We went in there together. He was like, cool, we, we did the song that we have together, and I'm singing on the chorus. And so he was just like, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I talked to y'all. You know, he, yeah. Uh, can he go outside for a second? We're going to just talk. They was like, nah, we don't want, we don't want him. <laughs> they didn't want you. <laughs> nah, they didn't want me. So I was like, as a, as a 12, 13-year-old, I was in that elevator probably crying like right. a mug. So. I but just, you knew who Diddy was, right? You like, of course, of course. And, and it, at the pinnacle, I'm like, man. I'm first of all, I was just excited just to, to meet them. Yeah, like so. Being in the room kind of made me, uh, made me like shaky. So I, don't, I probably was nervous and singing crazy. But at the same time, he's like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Right. So I was kind of, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna show him. Like so, that right. was my, that was my, uh, my motivation to right. keep going too. Like, if so, because. Knowing who Diddy was, yeah. for Diddy to say, nah, you need to go on outside, <laughs> it probably would be like a, a basketball player, say, Phil Jackson, saying, nah, go away. You know, one of yeah. these prominent coaches yeah. saying, nah, bro, you're not, I don't think you're good enough. Yeah. So you go, so you're on the elevator. What are you thinking? Like, am I not good enough? Because P. Diddy just <laughs> told me, like, nah. Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm definitely, I was in the elevator like, all right, man, this might be it for me. You know, because as a kid, when you're a kid, you right. think anything that's uh, it's it's over it's, it's, it's the end of the road, yeah. But I think I think I just took I took that motivation. Me and my me and my my homeboy, we just was like, you know what? Let's just keep going back in the studio. Right. Let's just let's just make more right. songs. Let's get get better. We just started, so mm -hmm. I think. But I, I think I think uh, Puff for that, man. Right. Hey, Diddy, man, I appreciate it though, like, cause that made me that made me get on my grind. 